mwagathmother.com. Let's take a look at the current chart for Bitcoin versus the dollar. I want to show you how the market has an amazing memory. I'm going to draw a couple of lines. The first line is going to be the recent break line. And this is a four hourly chart. I'm going to draw the line like that because what it does, it gives us the recent trend break here of those highs. What we do with that is we draw our uniformity line. And if you are not familiar with this concept of uniformity, I'll provide links in the description of the video. So if we draw it like that, we can see the market has tried to move above the line on a couple of occasions. Here, again here, and there. So three times it has tried to move above the line and it has been rejected. Let me show that again. So you can see the three levels I'm talking about are here, here, and here. And if I draw it again, you'll see it probably better. Again, coming from the break. Like that. So that's one line that the market has a good memory. The market is very aware that that line is there. Another line goes back to the break. Simple line that gives us this break here. In fact, let me remove the previous line so we can see it clearly. And so we know that once we broke here, we get another look at a momentum break. So what we can do is extend that line. And again, we're going to see how the market has an amazing memory. You can do it like that. You can see that the market has come back to test the underside of this line. And so far, this has turned into resistance over the last couple of days. Now, I can add a third line, but to understand where the third line comes from, we need to appreciate the fact that when you're drawing trend lines using the RSI, it is best to use the RSI highs that correspond with price highs. So in this particular example, instead of using this as the point or beginning of a trend line, which is based on this high, the better thing to do is to use these highs here because they correspond with the price highs. And I'll show you why. If we draw it from here, this is the trend line we get. All right. Now, if we understand that the best trend line from the RSI should correspond with the price high, or an important high or an important low, we can begin our trend line here. And with that adjustment and understanding, it gives us the reason why the stock or the Bitcoin hit that level and pull back. So the market is aware of all these levels. So if we draw back the previous lines, it's line number two. And then line number one, we can see that the confluence of all these three lines is the reason why we are seeing that Bitcoin has struggled to hold this level here just under 11 or at about 11,000. So we can see for sure that until it can find a way to move above all these lines, Unless it can break out above all these lines, we can see visual reason in the short term why it makes more sense for prices to be pointing down. And remember, the stocks do have an amazing memory. It is our job to find out what the charts are trying to tell us. Eric Mwadith, Mother.com. As always, good luck, peace and blessings. E-A-C-S.